Update at 10. Coming down to a tiebreaker, Freeport City Council votes 5 to 4, passing a 1% sales tax increase with profits allocated to fixing the Pretzel City's deteriorating roads. The final vote was decided by Freeport Mayor Jody Miller. 23 News reporter Jake Pearson talks to a city official and a resident about what this means for the community as a whole. While creating a comprehensive plan to fix Freeport's infrastructure, City Manager Rob Boyer created at least three different plans, proposing to raise revenue through property tax, sales tax, or a combination of multiple taxable revenue sources. I have to do the right thing. I. The ordinance passes five to four. An issue that has divided Freeport, improving the city's road infrastructure, but asking residents to pay more at the register. One percent is literally scratching the surface. In 25 years, we'll be sitting there with 75 to 80 percent of the infrastructure still needing to be upgraded. Freeport City Council passes a 1% sales tax increase, which will position the Pretzel City to begin repairing and rebuilding 130 miles of road in 2025. When I was hired, I asked the uh, then city manager, Randy Bucus, I said, what's my number one priority? He said, roads. Freeport City Manager Rob Boyer made several rough drafts for a street repair program. He says the plan that passed was the best possible solution. On the one hand, you don't want to be too heavy handed, and uh, but the other hand, you got to do something and providing that funding source to get the roads uh, at least moving in the right direction and be able to create a five year plan. One Freeport resident says fixing the roads shouldn't be a political issue, but some salty exchanges between Pretzel City politicians has him questioning who truly has the best interests of the city. Elected aldermen have had uh, a lot of trust issues. They may be completely on board with all of the information is correct, but it might be the first time too. So each time they bring something out, you don't trust them. With its approval, the city will begin receiving funds from the sales tax increase in summer or early fall this year, but won't begin construction until 2025. Thank you, Jake. And the sales tax increase will not be added to essential items like medications, groceries, or vehicle sales. The tax is estimated to generate between three and three and a half million dollars for Freeport.